Coach Roberts, first things first, how was your weekend here in beautiful Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, NCAA wrestling? How enjoyable was it this weekend? Oh, I tell you what. I mean, the competition was phenomenal. I mean, it always is. Uh, there's a you know a new guy, a new uh, you know young face every year. There was a couple this year that are really good that I hadn't got a lot of you know a chance to see a lot in person, and um, you know it, just phenomenal. The level of wrestling continues to amaze me um, every year. It's like man, th these guys are you know, off the charts from back when I wrestled, you know, we always had gritty and tough guys and warriors and stuff, but just the level and the athleticism seems to keep going up. And it's a, uh, it's a treat to be here and be able to watch with, especially bringing my, you know, my young son back here and get to spend some time here and experience that. You watch more wrestling than you've ever watched. You told me because, you know, you've been coaching for the last over 20 years, right? Almost 20 years. Uh, yeah. So I coached, uh, oh shoot. I think in 14, you know, division one tournaments, um, and been three other times or no, been, but you know, been as a fan a couple times when I was there coaching junior college, um, a couple times, but, and then, you know, obviously wrestling in it and stuff, but you don't really rest. You don't really watch much when you're wrestling in it. And when you're coaching, you're in the back, you're with your guys, you get to, you know, you're in the warm up room or you're, you know, you're shuttling your guys or you're in the tunnel, uh, standing by your guys. And so this was the most wrestling I'd watched since probably, you know, about Oh four, um, getting to see like, you know, almost every match or parts of them. How much different is, you know, not having to focus on athletes anymore? When you look at what you guys, you know, you, you didn't have to focus on athletes. You had to focus on your son and you and your enjoyment of, uh, of watching wrestling. How much different is that? You know, it was really, it, it was, it was really, uh, enjoy, enjoyful weekend. I mean, we got to just, you know, go to the sessions and, you know, have father son time and, you know, kind of see what we could learn and, you know, just do a lot of observation and, you know, got the nerves like everybody else, the excitement, the emotion. Um, you know, my son has, uh, being 15 years old, you know, he's got some of his guys that are his favorite. So, you know, he's like cheering for them and stuff like that. And, but then it was just a lot of watching, you know, watching, trying to watch the really good guys, um, and just taking everything in. It, it was a lot different. It, we had a great time. So when, you know, we talk about this, you know, you in the summer, I was doing this whole thing where I was talking to your guys, talking to Meeks at the coaches convention, and that's what kind of where all this started with you and I when we we started talking about it. But walk me through your August. Let's talk about your August. You you go in, right? To walk me through this process. What happened? Why did Oregon State let you go? Why did they they fired you without cause? Is that the literal? What they actually is that is it literally uh, yeah, what yeah. they said? Yeah, I mean, so they gave me a paper, you know, terminated without cause. Um, you know, August eighth. So I was doing a home visit on August 7th, um, you know, with a junior national champion and uh, trying to talk to him about Oregon State and uh, came home and, and you know, got asked to go in and meet with the AD. And, uh, you know, I did. Of course, it wasn't the AD, but, you know, his, his underling, he, he, you know, and uh, down the chain, you know, a couple people. And, yeah, they, they, they fired me, you know, without cause and you know, alleged some improper contact or conduct and all that stuff. And it was, you know, it was a bunch of baloney. Um, you know, it never happened. Uh, and, and, but, you know, they stuck by it. So, you know, that, you know, whatever. That's that. What, okay. So when they say they allege improper conduct, yeah. are you allowed to talk about that? Like, where are you at with the yeah, situation? Yeah, no. There's I mean, a lawsuit announced, right? Oh, yeah, the yeah, lawsuit yeah. came out in the yeah. Oregonian, right? Yeah. The yeah. Portland newspaper. Right. Well, came yeah, out with one it. of the papers. One of the know, newspapers. Yeah. I think it was the Oregonian, actually, because they, they have a blog for it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I believe it was the Oregonian. But, you know, we look at that and that, that pops up, you know. So where are you at with that? That, that came out in the news. We saw that. It was yeah. on Flow Wrestling. Where yeah. are we at with this lawsuit? Is it settled? Where, did you go to yeah, court? What are you doing? It, they, they moved to settle it um, just in the last few weeks. So what was yeah. the situation? What happened? What, what, why was there a lawsuit? Why would you have well, a lawsuit? Well, you know, I mean, the, the lawsuit really, I mean, you know, none, none of, the, none of the, the alleged stuff that, 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 that happened, that, you know, student athletes said, none, none of that was factual. I mean, that was baloney. But the fact is, is you can get let go you know, at any time, at least in Oregon. I mean, but, you know, you got a 12 page contract and it specifically says in the contract, you get let go without cause, fired, let's be honest, fired without cause, 
They got to pay you the extent of the contract. I was a month and a half into a new contract I signed, and uh, that's the main lawsuit. That you know they could they, they could fire me for whatever. Hey, we don't like the you know the the jacket and tie you wear in matches. That's the way it goes. Uh, so the real problem came with not uh, paying me. You know, basically, uh, you know, putting my family in a bad situation. Hey, you get fired in the middle of summer. You already had chances in the summer to take other jobs, look at other opportunities. We're going to sign you to a new contract, and uh, then we're going to fire you. And when you inquire about uh, your your contract, we're going to tell you we're we're going to breach our, your contract. We're going to tell you sorry, you don't have a contract. So they breached the contract. In my opinion, they did. Well, no, I mean, you guys, you said that you, this has been settled. I, yeah, well. Okay, if they settled, what does that say? What do you think that says? It says... You know, I'm not a lawyer, um, and I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn last night, but uh, no, I had a lawyer. You know, I had to shell out a lot of money for a lawyer. Um, that's just the way it is. And uh, But I was going to get zero. I was going to walk away with zero dollars in my contract. You know, I mean, hey, the university had it on their website, their human resources website, that I have a contract. They got probably 10,000 people on there. Here, July, you know, 2017, here's when it runs out, June 30th or whatever, 2018, here's the salary, here's this and that and the other. And uh, when it came time to, you know, pay, they said I didn't have a contract. So I, you, were, you were working on a contract for like six weeks? And yeah, then they said, yeah. you don't have a contract. Yeah, I mean, I, I, was, I, I was on a hiring committee there. I mean, I don't know what kind of places have people, you know, sit on. I mean, maybe they do in football or something. But, yeah, hiring committee for, a, you know, a new athletic trainer in the department. Uh, certainly had a set of keys, a credit card that I went to Fargo, you know, and, and stuff like that with. Got paid. Got paid. Um, and, uh, yeah, then they said I didn't have a contract. They weren't going to pay me another dime. What was the alleged misconduct? What what did, what, what you was know, alleged? Can you, can you go into what was alleged? Uh, yeah, I mean, I could say you know that a, that a, that a kid said that uh, over uh, five years, which he was on the team four years, but you know the first paragraph of the thing was he he was on the team. What's five years. the thing? What's the thing? The the uh, complaint. You okay, know? so there was a complaint. Yeah, filed? he was a you know he was a, a minority student, um, you know, and said that. Uh, he was uh, not treated well, and he was discriminated against at Oregon State University in the in the wrestling program, and by the the guys in the team. And I was complicit with it, and uh, you know, guys called him derogatory names, and you know, it it just it was an unfortunate situation. Uh, it, it wasn't a factual situation, but it was an unfortunate situation. But you know, I mean, when you got an AD that's been there, you know, three months and has never you know talked to you or or uh, cares to know who you are or asks you um, about the situation. Hey, did, hey, Kevin, come on. Hey, I want to talk to you. Did this happen? Did this not happen? Uh, you know, when he talks to your head coach and the head coach says, hey, this guy's been with me 10 years, you know. I promoted this guy a year ago to associate head coach. This guy, that's not who this guy is. He didn't do this. This is BS. This is, you know, whatnot. And he decides to fire you anyway and, uh, and ha has uh, – you know, human resources call him while they're while they're firing me. You know, he doesn't even know about it. He don't have say so in Jim it. Jim didn't know. No, no. Jim, so G, this G, this is out of Jim's hands. Yeah, they, they 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 fired me. You know, and called him simultaneously. He comes. So in the Zalaski office. finds out w after they fire you. Yeah, or within the same S simultaneously, minute. or within yeah, a five yeah. minute. No, same same time. So Jim doesn't even know. No, nah, he's at, he's at home. He's it's early morning. You know, it's just crazy. Uh, he usually beats almost the entire uh, athletic department into the office. And for some reason that day, you know, came in at nine ten or whatever. It was summer. It was August. But uh, no, he, yeah, that's how it went down. So were there multiple alleged incidents of misconduct? One incident? What was, what was the... You know, I don't know. It was just, it, it was all, it, it, this guy, he was, you know, he was called this and that by guys in the team. And, uh, you know, it, it said the coaches. It didn't say Kevin Roberts. It said the coaches. Um, well, why are you the guy? That I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm the guy. I'm the main guy. I know. I, yeah, I know Jimmy. I know everyone that worked there a long time. You know, everybody. Um, I didn't see that. I didn't hear that. I didn't. You know, it's, it's so there's cool. alleged ethnically insensitive things. I, I don't know. You're not saying yeah, that. Yeah. Is that what happened? Is that is there something? Uh, yeah. That... Yeah. Re religion and religion and or race. Okay. So that was actually that. did this what the complaint said? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So there's these things that are alleged. Yeah. So they go on hearsay. I'm confused. You're gonna have to say like. Did, did did your administration go on hearsay? Because I'm, I'm confused by that as well. 
Yeah, you know, so they they uh, asked me about it in April. You know, uh, I said, hey, it never happened. They said, hey, we'll, we'll talk to Coach Zaleski. You know, talk, talk to a couple guys on the team. You know, and uh, hey, you know, we'll have this uh, we'll have this wrapped up in April. Never heard nothing. Never heard nothing. April went, May went, June went. Got a new contract July, August eighth. Hey, you're fired. So that's bizarre. Yeah, I think so. You know. It's very bizarre. I, uh, there's a lot of good people at that university. There's a lot of really good coaches, good people in the department. Uh, Coach Z, you know, Ian Miller, Taylor Meeks. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to get to, you're not going to get me to tell you that uh, the, that AD or, or a couple people like by him up there are good, good people. Don't think a lot of them. Um, and, I don't care. That's just the way I am. I'm pretty honest, sharp guy, you know, sharp to the point. Where do you go from here now? You, you coach hey, your son? Yeah, it was great, man. It was great. I coached high school wrestling this year. Uh, you know, I, I loved it. I loved it. I loved helping kids. You know, it was like we had three state champions and we had some guys win matches for the first time, you know, that started wrestling as an eighth or ninth grader. And uh, it was great. It was, it was great. I loved it. It's still competition, still helping kids, still energy, positive energy, you know, uh, just helping kids, like see the excitement and the growth and, you know, really cool. I, I mean, I, I got to say, I loved it. High school so, coaching so was a blast. Sticking with wrestling, it sounds like. You're, sti you're oh, sticking. Oh, yeah, stick. no. Because a lot of guys move on to, to other things, you know. Durnland left wrestling at Binghamton. You know, we've had guys who have left wrestling, right? Thurlow wasn't fired. He resigned, right? I, I don't know. I, so we look at some of the stuff. Though, yeah. like, you, you were fired. It, it's out there. They fired you. Oh, right? yeah. Heck yeah. So, so I, you look at it, it, it. It's kind of a it's a whole crazy, when we look at this thing, it, it's a wild thing, right? So, you know, going from there, do you think this affects you working at future places? Maybe maybe you want to go to, you know, there's there's jobs open. There's, there's a new program, right? Yeah. In, in Arkansas, right? Does, does that stop you from applying for stuff like that? You know, I don't think that stops me. I mean, the worst anyone could say is no, right? But you know, to me, is uh, like I, I've never, I've never been afraid of the truth. I mean, I'm, you know, I'll let people d decide what they want. Um, you know, and when you asked me if I want to talk about it, you know, I was like thought about it, and I was like, yeah, yeah, heck yeah, I'd rather have people here and say, hey, you know, make a judgment on that because you read, you know, you read something in the paper. You know, I don't like that. I don't like that. You know, they try to talk you into doing a press release. They try. The, who, who? Wait. Who? Who? who wait. Yeah, the one you get fired. So they, I'm confused. Wait, well, right you know, you tell you say, hey, this is BS. Who wanted to give a press release? The, the Oregon State. You know, they want they me try to, to give talk a, you, and I'm confused. Yeah, so they fire you. They, they fire you. They fire you. Then what? Yeah, well, then they later say they didn't fire you because apparently you don't have a contract, but they gave you a firing thing and all this and that, and, and so. But yeah, they, you know, you get you, you say, hey, I'm gonna just be honest here, but this is complete BS. They tried to get you to. They give, say, hey, hey. We're a fire. Um, what was the press? What they, they, well, say? they say I was fire. I was a little fired up, you know. Understandably but what would they? So. What did they want to say? I, well, I don't know. They said, "Hey, when when you when when emotions calm down, why don't you come back here in a day or two, and we'll get a press release together." For what were they going to say? Well, they said, "Hey, we want to thank you, you know, and say you're moving on to other things, and you, you're leaving to pursue other opportunities." And I said, "Well, you know, I know you guys have only been here uh, two months, maybe three months, and uh, if you've been here longer, you know this is whole thing." is not who I am. This is, this is, this is baloney. This is, but you would also know that I don't make stuff up. So I'm not making up a press release saying I'm resigning. You want to say you fired me? You, you say, you know, whatever. But yeah, I'm not like, I'm not making a press release. Come That's on. That's bizarre. Yeah. So they, they, it's like they, they tried to get you to like go along with it almost. Yeah. Like comply with it. Right. Yeah. And then, so, so did you get the contract paid out? Can you disclose what happened? I could disclose that, uh, you know, I, I had to hire an attorney and, and pay a pretty good amount of money. Not, not saying on him. He, he did a good, me a good job because I would have got zero. But, uh, you know, they settled my contract within the last two weeks. And, um, you know, I can't really say how much. Or and anything you've moved like that. in. Um, you're moving on from it. You're, you're, are you, are you past it? It's like, you've accepted it. it it's been, everything's settled. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. It's settled yeah. as much as it can be as, as far as legality. Yeah. Oh yeah. Legality. Yeah. Emotionally, you know, I mean, you're a pretty emotional it, guy. You you get out of pocket sometimes. Do you think you being a very opinionated, loud, out of pocket sometimes guy? And I'm, I don't mean out of pocket. Like you get fired up, right? We do. I get fired up. We're, we're, we're pretty similar, right? 
Do you think that had anything to do with this? Do you think that some of the stuff was like piggybacked on other things? Is there other things you you can point to? I don't know. I mean, heck, I don't know. You know, I had nothing but a great evaluation. So evaluations for 11 years, you know, do they not, do they not like stuff? Like when I, when I say, Hey, it's, you know, it's important that we have a media guy, you know, go to the nationals, media guy, gal, go to the nationals. Well, we're not going to send in one, you know, Hey, can we pay for it out of our budget? We need this. Our guys need this. Our program needs it. You know, this is what we got to do. Hey, is there any way we can start getting some, you know, some advertisements, some media, some promotion maybe, maybe, promotion i mean this is you know this is a not a good effort we got to do better than this can like turn it over to one of our staff we'll do it right we'll do it if we don't have someone in the department has time i don't know you know i don't know i just think that when you're in a program you got to try to make it the best it is and you know it's like all they could say is no you know and and to me is i'd rather know where people are at you know hey what's your commitment what's your commitment to the sport what's uh you know, and, and so, you know, I don't feel bad about that asking for, you know, things like, you know, to try to get our program in, in the spotlight and where kids, potential recruits and stuff like that can see, but that's, you know, that's real stuff that happened. And, you know, I said it was important for us to do that always in a respectful manner, but yeah, I'm going to, you know, we want to raise the, the, Awareness of the program, do good things. The kids, the families, the fans, the recruits, you know, they need to know this stuff. So last thing, how did you feel? Two All-Americans, Ronnie Bresser, a guy you worked exclusively with, he takes seventh in the country, Amar's <laughs> third. They're a top 25 program. How'd that feel? How did you feel about the how the guys, how they finished out uh, the, the year and, and they finished in the top 25? You know, I felt good for those kids. Um, I spent a lot of time with those kids, so, you know, I want to see them succeed. I have nothing but... Uh, you know, great um, um, admiration and, and respect and and care for those for those young men. And uh, you know, even even the ones that weren't as successful. You know, like uh, you know, a couple of those guys that didn't get on the stand. But you know, I think like uh, Hunter Willits was a kid that you know I recruited last year out of Colorado, and he got here as a true freshman. You know, he's in high school at this time last year, and kid out of Pueblo, Colorado, and I think he's got a great future. Uh, love those guys. And, you know, so I was, I was happy for him, but yeah, it was, you know, I mean, you got these guys you work a lot with, and then you're living in the same town and you're not going to the practice room with them every day. And, you know, you don't, uh, you know, I mean, there's a little animosity or more than that with the athletic department with a couple people, but not with the program, not with the guys, not with the coaches, um, you know, nothing but the utmost respect and, uh, you know, st- still goodwill and relationships with those guys. All right, man. I got to get cutting out to this OAC. You got anything else for me? Hey, man. Thanks for the... Uh, hospitality? The hospitality. Was out it good? Here in Northeast Ohio. Tremendous. I uh, got to play with the kid, the, the kids, the boys, wrestle a little bit with Ferd, one arm wrestle kind of. And, uh, you know, uh, we got to figure out a plan going forward. Pittsburgh, I don't think we can make that drive. Next we should. Year. We're gonna, we're gonna, be bad. Okay. So mm-hmm. we're going to we're gonna have to figure that out, what, what, what comes up for next year. <laughs> hey, man. Loved having you. Great job. Safe travels back to Oregon, all right? We'll, We'll be out soon, all right? Hey, thank you.